superheroes always save the day, usually by fighting unlikely supervillains that look like penguins or who make magical, maniacal machines that threaten doom. But as Vicki Mabry reports, there's a whole new look to superheroes, and the crimes they fight are much more realistic. We have some party crashes heading this way. You want me to have your cake dry clean, too, you big dweeb? Ever since Drake's chemical byproducts mutated me into this form, I've been nothing more than hired muscle. He's called Original Man, and he's definitely original. He's a black comic book superhero. Teamed up with Mighty Ace, Dark Force, and Lone Wolf, they're out to rid the world of gangs, drugs, even AIDS. We wanted to do something that showed our culture and then showed a, a, a certain amount of awareness, get, you know, some knowledge and cover subjects that the mainstream comic books don't want to touch. Anything that shows a truer sense of reality, people want it. For Alonzo Washington and Tony Jappa, reality means creating characters that represent life as they know it as black men. They've developed a series of comic books aimed at black teenagers, raising their social consciousness and dealing with black-on-black -black violence. The average young African-American male has had a police officer step on his neck for no reason, throw him against a car. We want to address that. What comic characters did you grow up with? Uh, Superman, Batman, <laughs> uh, the Incredible Hulk. But the problem with that is seeing all those super characters uh, kind of made me lose my own identity. We think uh, Caucasians are greater than we are because we don't get a proper balance. That has an effect on a young person's mind. These comic books are beginning to have an impact on kids like 17-year-old Andre Smith, former gang member, father of three, juvenile offender. Andre says these fantasy characters help turn him around. It tells me that, you know, it's not no good being, not no good, you know, doing little crimes and getting in trouble and going to jail and going to detention and all that, because it's not worth it. Can you think of any fictional black hero? Washington and his crusaders are fast becoming a conquering tool, even in the classroom. They're being used to teach reading and self-esteem. Experts say these positive black images are long overdue. They're seriously looking for uh, someone to identify with. The creation of positive images uh, strikes at the heart of the matter. Alonzo and Tony are becoming superheroes themselves. They've sold thousands of books at home in Kansas City. They're charging into other markets now. Dark Force hits bookstores soon. He's fighting AIDS and packs a free condom. Through a comic book medium, it is a way to expand their mind and make them feel good about themselves. And hopefully what they learn from the comic book, they can incorporate in their lifestyle. Lifestyles these superheroes are crusading to change. Vicki Mabry, CBS News, Kansas City. And that's our news. Dan Rather will for Bill Plum.